Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So I've just posted that Windows 11 updates for version 24H2 are causing installation issues for some users. That video will be linked down below and in the end screen. And yet another video to tell you about another Windows 11 issue. Now this time, it's not actually affecting Windows 11 24H2, but it's affecting versions 23H2 and also 22H2. And the problem is actually caused by the update KB5048685, which rolled out as part of the December Patch Tuesday security update for Windows 11 23H2 and 22H2. And I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen as well. Now, this has not officially been confirmed by Microsoft, but there are reports doing the rounds online that um, there is a problem that's related to the start menu. And I think the first problem we're going to talk about today is going to be affecting more the minority than the majority of people, but there are numerous rounds doing reports doing the rounds online that 5048685 is causing issues we're going to talk about today. Now, the first one is with the start menu. And this is according to a support article by Citrix, okay, where they say that the start menu may stop responding if the update is installed on Windows 11 22H2 and 23H2 with a VDA, okay. Now, a VDA, in case you're unaware, that's why I say it's affecting more the minority than, than the majority, is a connection between a user device and a machine that is established and managed by a virtual delivery agent, okay. So, this is more, I think, going to be affecting um, enterprise and corporations more than your average home user. So basically, they say symptoms of the error after installing the Patch Tuesday update on 22H2 and 23H2 VDA start menu within a VDR session may not respond for some users. So that's the first issue uh, that's doing the rounds. And by the way, they have provided a workaround if you are affected, which involves editing the registry. So if you are affected, I'll leave this post um, linked down below in the description um, if you want to try out this registry fix, if you do find yourself affected. Now that's the first issue. And over and above the start menu freezing, there are also numerous reports now that installations are getting stuck somewhere between 60 and 70% with the update, KB5048685. And according to user reports on the Feedback Hub and so on, um, users have tried numerous methods to try and get the installation to work, but it still stays stuck, give or take around 60-70%. And they've used the Troubleshooter, SFC Scan Now, um, DISM, all those kind of workarounds, and nothing is getting the update um, to install. So that's another issue that the update is causing. And then another one is that um, the update for some is also affecting Wi-Fi, where users can't get their Wi-Fi to work. And this is according to, obviously, reports on Microsoft's Feedback Hub. And, uh, and once again, users have tried a whole lot of different workarounds, but the update is breaking those three things, the start menu, failing to install, and Wi-Fi for a lot of users and there are quite a lot of upvotes on the Feedback Hub regarding these issues. So although Microsoft hasn't officially confirmed these three issues, I'm just putting it out there in case you find yourself affected. Now, what I would suggest, if you are experiencing these issues and you are still running 22H2 and 23H2, what I would suggest is, first of all, if the update is failing to install and it's, you know, it's causing you a little bit of a headache, and the um, negatives are outweighing the positives, what I would do is I would pause the update to at least um, the next Patch Tuesday update that will roll out on the second Tuesday of January next year, 2025. That's what I would do. Or, if that's not the case, and um, you have already installed the update and you are being affected maybe by Wi-Fi not working or um, your start menu not working or functioning properly, what I would do then is head over to Update History, scroll right down to the bottom, and click on Uninstall Updates, go find the relevant update, and install um, the update that rolled out for the December patch Tuesday for 23H2 and 22H2 KB5048685, 
and then I would come back and pause the update because obviously the update is automatic, so it'll try to reinstall itself. So just a couple of workarounds if you are affected. And this time, not 24H2 that's been affected, but 23H2 and 22H2. And obviously, if Microsoft officially confirms these issues or I uh, hear any more information or get any more information, obviously, like we like to do on the channel, I'll try and keep you um, posted and in the loop. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.